enzymatic reaction. That type of reaction is called a two substrate reaction. So in case of the two substrate reaction, either one substrate or two substrate can produce one or more product. That type of reaction is called as two substrate or multi substrate reaction. Based on the type of substrate involved in the reaction and products form, that reactions can be termed as uni uni, bi bi, uni bi, or bi uni reactions. For example, in this case, there is a one substrate involved in the enzymatic reaction and one product is formed. Such kind of reaction is called as uni uni reaction. And another example, look at the another example in which the A and B are the two substrate and one product P is formed. So this type of reaction is called as bi uni reaction. In the third case, when is two substrate A or B is participate and consequently in the enzymatic reaction there are two products P1 and P2 is uh, synthesized, that type of reaction is called as bi bi reaction. So in case of the two substrate reaction, usually atoms or functional group of one substrate can transfer to the another substrate. For example, this is the reaction of that formation of aldehyde from alcohol in the participation of alcohol dehydrogenase. In that case, there are one substrate is called as alcohol and another substrate is NAD which produce this acetaldehyde as well as the NADH. In this reaction, that one molecules from this, one atoms from the C2H5OH is transferred to the NADH to form NADH. So in this case, this it's, uh, ethanol gets oxidized and forms a product like C2, uh, acetaldehyde plus NADH. So if you talk about the different mechanism is participate in the two or multi substrate reaction, basically these mechanism can be broadly categorized in two called as ping pong or non-sequential mechanism and the second one is the sequential mechanism. That ping pong mechanism is that in which one substrate binds and one product is released. Thereafter, the second substrate binds to the enzyme and the second product is released. That type of reaction is called as ping pong mechanism. In that case, hence only one substrate is present in the enzyme at a time in which it means that enzyme contains one substrate binding site. So if it is one substrate binding site is present in the enzyme, it means at, at a time only one substrate can bind to the enzyme and forms no ternary complex, it forms binary complex. So let's say, let's look at the example of the ping pong mechanism. So this is the substrate AX which binds to first enzyme A, forms EX binary complex and then this uh, interconversation with this EX, EAX to EXA and in that case that EA product is released. After the release of one product then the second substrate B is bind to this and then it again that interconversion is caused and then again the B product is released. So this is the example of ping pong mechanism. In the look at the a AX bind to the enzymes form binary complex EX and an intramolecular arrangement takes place in the binary complex like this EXA2 EAX2 EXA that is the binary complex form and their interconversation between this and thus EX bond forms and AX bond being broken. Thus, first product A is released before second substrate binds to the enzyme. It is, it only binds to the modified enzyme X. So B is only bind to the modified enzyme EX. The, the best suitable example of ping pong mechanism is the action of chymotic, chymotrypsin enzyme in protein degradation or protein cleavage. So look at this example. This is let's say a protein. This is the N terminal of the protein and the C terminal of the protein which participate in the cleavage, chymotrypsin cleavage in which if it is chymotrypsin enzyme acts on this protease, this protein, it cleaves this protein into two peptides. One is the N-terminal peptide, another one is the C-terminal peptide. If you look at the mechanism of this chymotrypsin which participate in the ping pong mechanism, then look at this is the enzymes. This is the chymotrypsin enzyme and this is the histidine of the chymotrypsin 57 and the serine 196 participate in the proteolytic cleavage in which it interacts with this, this peptide, this, this protein basically and break this N-terminal region and release. So in that case, first product protein is bind to the enzyme and then first product 
this one n terminal peptide is released after releasing this one first n terminal peptide then the second product second substrate h2o binds then then another in this reaction the second product this n terminal peptide is released so this is the best example of ping pong mechanism by which the chymotrypsin cleave the protein into two different fragments Another type of mechanism to 